Hey guys, this is Nick. As we're now in 2020, many new games are preparing themselves to make an entrance this year. Maybe that's why they're saving the best titles for the following months. But worry not, PC gamers. Even if there are a few games releasing this January, the ones that are coming out are amazing. Let's get right into the best PC games of January 2020. Starting off with our first game, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. For anyone who has ever seen a Dragon Ball anime or played previous games, this one is a masterpiece. Since last year's excellent Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Bandai Namco is trying to keep the streak alive with Goku aka Kakarot's RPG adventure. Yes, this isn't a straight up fighter game like most others in the series. And lets players explore the world, playing through a good chunk of Goku's life. Yes, again. Gameplay is consistent with the anime story arc, meaning Goku doesn't start out with his most powerful moves. Players are given lots of freedom to explore, with flying as your primary means of travel. Flying around just looks fantastic. It's action RPG, but also there's plenty of fighting in it. Outside combat, you can free roam locations to complete side quests, mine minerals with key blasts, and even go fishing. Next on our list, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. It's an expansion to the combat-heavy, massively popular game Monster Hunter. It is a set containing both the main game and the massive Iceborne expansion. It also contains a mix of new monsters, regions, mechanics, and a whole new endgame, all geared towards veteran players. For those who dipped their toes in the world or didn't see it to the end, Iceborne has almost nothing to offer. With Iceborne, you can also unlock all new Master Rank to show off your hunting. The PC release is even better than the consoles, with improved keyboard and mouse controls, up to 4K FPS, and some more features. What sets Iceborne apart is its gorgeous graphics and excellent cinematics, PC controls, lots of new content, addictive gameplay loop, and it's a pretty stable game. Moving on to The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. It is a game unlike any other in The Walking Dead universe. Every challenge you face and decision you make are driven by you. Fight the undead and scavenge through the flooded ruins of New Orleans. Choices in Saints and Sinners will affect not just how the combat plays out, but the fate of the city and its other survivors. It gives freedom of choice and a visceral combat experience in survival horror. Your mission is not just fending off the dead, but fight each other as well to survive the zombie apocalypse. You can join one of the warring factions or play them against each other for personal gain. You can scale buildings to ambush enemies from above, go head on attacking with melee weapons, or kill from a distance with throwing weapons, bows, firearms, etc. The gameplay is where this game really shines. This is simply one of the best zombie survival games of 2020. Next, Journey to the Savage Planet. It is an upbeat first-person adventure game set in the bright and colorful alien world filled with weird creatures. As an employee of Kindred Aerospace Interstellar Exploration Company, players will be dropped onto an uncharted planet. Launched with high hopes but little equipment and no real plan, players are tasked with exploring, cataloging alien flora and fauna, and determining if the planet is fit for human habitation. In this colorful co-op adventure game, you can play with your friends and watch the one-eyed monsters do things. It's not meant to be a particularly long game, but more of a focused slice of what would traditionally be considered a AAA experience. Next, Warcraft 3 Reforged. Who doesn't know Warcraft 3? It's one of the oldest but still one of the most played games with a massive player base. So Blizzard decided to reforge it in new pants. Completely rebuilt from the ground up, Warcraft 3 Reforged is the classic real-time strategy built for 4K. This updated version features new art and animations while preserving the excellent RTS as it was in 2002. You'll still be commanding armies as either the humans, orcs, night elves or undead, and yeah, it will include the Frozen Throne expansion. Players will also have access to map and mod editors so they can create custom game modes. Though we wish we were getting a brand new Warcraft 4, Reforged looks like an excellent way to experience the game that laid the foundation for most other RTS and MOBA games. Speak 
demons nearby. Next on our list, Scaleboy. In this cute action RPG with paper-like models, you play as Skippy, the square, flexible skeleton. Your mission is to keep a heartbroken court magician from destroying the world with his army of monsters and undead. What's weird is that you can change out your body parts with those of enemies or friends. Skellboy is a quirky action-adventure game with plenty of casual fun experience. It's kinda like Zelda if Link was a skeleton who looted enemy body parts to replace his own. Basically, it's a single-player game with Kingdom of Kubold full of square characters and edgy villains. A true action RPG adventure that rewards exploration. And last but not least, Praetorians HD Remastered. Another remaster this month for Praetorians, a very underrated but great classic game based on the foot battles of the Roman Empire. It's focused more on the real-time strategy elements of directing and managing troops. You fight on the battlefields of Egypt, the combat theaters of Gaul, and finally the heart of the empire itself in Italy, in the crusade to become emperor. The closer you get to the emperor, the closer you get to facing the Praetorian guards, the most powerful force of the empire. You learn to combine your units and explore the weaknesses of your enemies. There are over 20 campaign missions and they've reworked controls and UI. And that's all for this month, guys. Let us know if you found these games fun in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button if you like the video and subscribe to see more. See you next time.